of service there. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. So today we celebrate the Feast of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Temple. And we know that uh, God, from the beginning, He intended to have Our Lady be uh, the Mother of God, and be the Mother, mother of Jesus, and be the Mother of the Messiah. This was His intention. And uh, so He was preparing this from the beginning of the world world that Our Lady would be there, and we know that she was conceived immaculate, which means she was conceived without sin. There was no sin ever on her soul when she was uh, made, and uh, then she had to be presented in the temple to fulfill the law. The law was that uh, we were presented in the temple, the firstborn, and so Our Lady was, if it was a girl, was uh, our Lord, we know, he was presented in the temple after 40 days, if it was a girl, it was after 60 days. Later, and then uh, she'd be redeemed by her parents, and uh, as as um, uh, she did herself for uh, a young Jesus when he was a boy. That's the first presentation in the temple. But we know also that later, when the tradition says when she was three years old, that's quite young. And when she was three years old, she went and lived in the temple with the temple virgins. So there were young ladies that lived in the temple until it was time for them to marry. There were no consecrated virgins in the Old Testament. Everybody got married until it was time for them to marry. Although they stayed in the temple, some of the, some of the girls did live there. And they, they learned about the, the temple and learned about the scriptures better, and they had uh, a chance to uh, do some of the work in the temple uh, and uh, learn these things and uh, get a, a good holy start on their life. And one that was probably there instructing them was Anna. Anna, you remember, she came along when our Lord was presented in the temple, and uh, so she would have already known Our Lady, and she took our Lord into her arms, and, and she uh, told everybody about Him and praised Him. But uh, she would have been there instructing Our Lady and teaching her uh, what she needed to learn, and teaching her about the scriptures, and teaching her how to become holy, although Our Lady was already holier than she was. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But uh, still, still, she had to uh, had to uh, learn. So this is uh, what it is, and it's a great uh, grace to have a, a vocation. And Our Lady's vocation was the highest vocation of any creature uh, to be the mother of God. Of course, she didn't know that was her vocation, and uh, uh, she never expected it. It was uh, sprung on her when the angel came. Uh, uh, angel Gabriel when he came to her later and told her, "Your vocation is to be uh, the mother of God." So that's when uh, she got that, but she was being prepared by God from the time of her immaculate conception uh, and to make her the greatest and the holiest of creatures, far holier than all the angels. So uh, the angels uh, uh, <coughs> recognized the beauty of her soul, that it was far more glorious and far more beautiful than their souls. And in the temple, she would have spent time with uh, being with there you know, with God. And God dwelt in the temple at that time, not in the way he dwells in our tabernacles, not with the body, blood, soul, and divinity, but he did dwell in the temple, and she got to spend time with him. And it's a great uh, thing to be able to spend some time with God. And this is why we should visit the Blessed Sacrament. We say make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament, make a visit to our Lord, and ask him for what we need, and ask him to uh, help us to become uh, good and holy and worthy to do our duty, worthy to do our duty well for the love of God that we might be sanctified and become good. So let's ask Our Lady to intercede for us that we obtain uh, some of the graces from her, we obtain the graces from her that we need and that God wants to give us and that we uh, take these graces and we use them uh, to become indeed a good and holy. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you.